Hi, everybody. So much of this course so far has been about how America is changing and evolving. Those changes can be economic, they can be political, they can be social, they can even be geographical. Now I want to talk about how the United States is changing as it relates to modernization and industrialization. Specifically this week, we're going to talk about key inventions that occur in the late 1800s that transform American society and really transform the entire world. This week, you're going to be engaged in three important learning tasks. The first two tasks are about learning the history and providing you with historical context so that you can then participate in the third learning task, which is really a critical thinking, engaging discussion post. The first task is a reading. You are going to be reading about two inventors in the late 1800s. These two inventors were Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the telephone, and Thomas Edison, who invented the incandescent light bulb and the phonograph. Your second task this week is to watch a video and take a quiz. And in this video quiz, you will be again getting more insight and information about the real significance and importance of the light bulb and the telephone and the phonograph and inventions that we take uh, we take for granted. You know, the lights are on. I'm recording a video right now. What better evidence can we have that these key inventions in the late 1800s are instrumental in the transformation of the very world we live in. Your final task this week is the discussion post. I think this discussion post is going to be really, really interesting. In the assignment under task three, I have provided you with two video clips. The first is a television commercial from 1984 that was aired during the Super Bowl for Macintosh computer, the first real personal computer from Apple computers. The second video is actually a video of Steve Jobs, the CEO of Apple, introducing the Macintosh computer in 1984. Your discussion post has three parts. In the first part, I'm asking you to do a little bit of interpretation. What do you think Apple computers is trying to say about Macintosh in their commercial in 1984? It's a very odd commercial and one of the more famous ones in American television history. What do you think the message is that their view, they want their viewers to try to take away from this commercial? The second thing I want you to do in your discussion post is to try to do a little compare and contrast. It's fair to say that in the late 1800s, the light bulb and the phonograph had huge impacts on American society. And some of those impacts are laid out in your reading and in your video. Also, in 1984, the development of the personal computer has huge transformational impacts on American society. So in what ways do you think the personal computer is similar to the light bulb or the, the phonograph? And in what ways do you think they're different? Obviously, there are elements of technology that change communication, but they're obviously totally different inventions. So what do you think about that? How are we living in time periods that replicate the past but also take us in a new direction? The third thing I want you to do in your discussion post is to think about the future a little bit. You know, we have throughout history, world history, key moments in which inventions transform society. And those inventions are usually designed to meet some sort of need or meet some sort of evolution in the way humans are interacting, the way humans are engaging in commerce. So what do we need today? What inventions do you think America desperately needs to solve some sort of problem or to further the way we communicate with one another or the way we live our lives? Think critically about this because humanity faces pressing issues today in 2020. I hope this week's lesson, learning tasks, and discussion post really are interesting to you and get you to think about how history is in many ways a way to look at the present. We can think about what's happening today or what's happened in the recent past. And we can say, how has this happened before? How has humanity responded to it? And where do we go from here? Thanks for watching and good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.